Cuckoo. I showed up. I'm easy 11. Thank you for checking out my channel. Randomly react and review first. And hopefully everybody's maintaining their prosperity. My guys, today's movie reaction will be Pet Cemetery 1989. The group that's been campaigning for this movie to be on this channel. Sorry I took so long. <laughs> so it would appear that there's a lot of you guys that really like Stephen King. You guys are into his stuff. So today we have another Stephen King adaptation. I'll get to record this one in the afternoon. The reactions usually go down at night, but today I don't have much going on. So I'm thinking, hey, why not put another movie on the channel? We got Pet Cemetery. It came out in 1989 and it was directed by Mary Lambert. And we have a cast. The actors that are starring in this movie are Del Midkiff as Lewis Creed and Denise Crosby as Rachel Creed. This is about pets. Pets going to get killed in this? That's what I should be expecting. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what this got. Is that how you spell cemetery? Oh boy, we got a grim opener. Oh, somebody doggo is in heaven now. Oh my God, this is so dark. There's another pet, Biffer. A hell of a sniffer. <laughs> wow, the intro to this movie doesn't have me feeling good at all. <laughs> Great set design is very creepy and airy here. I see people put a lot of a lot of work into their efforts. Have you hugged your MD today? Apparently we have a doctor. <laughs> So? The excitement of moving into a new home, I get it. What do you think? It's gorgeous. <laughs> you have to check most of the areas in a new home to make sure nobody's trying to pull a fast one over on you. Uh huh. Come here. Mommy! Daddy! I see Pat! Did the dad even make sure that that rope is stable on a tree? I'm gonna be quiet. These people are risky. Ellie, be careful! Exactly! LA. Look how thin, look at that old ass rope. Listen. Yep, that's your fault, irresponsible parents. She probably broke a bone. Oh no, buddy, stay, stay with your family, buddy. Oh God, they don't have no shoes on that kid? Supervise your child. What the fuck? Oh, he's about to get killed? No, you don't, my friend. Not I hope he goes in the house and calls the CPS on these guys. Them damn trucks go back and forth all day and most of the night. <laughs> Interesting accent. I think you're gonna be just as happy as a clam here, Ellen Green. There's a path <laughs> over there. Do you know where it goes? Oh, yeah? That's a good story. A good walk. I'll take you up there sometime. Uh, okay. So the first thing they need to do is order a fence around their house because that's very dangerous for the baby. And besides, I wouldn't want any unwanted animals coming on my property. And they didn't get a bed frame yet. Okay, I guess they're still unpacking. Oh, fuck. Was that a warning from the cat? That must be the busiest road in town. Is that your dog? Yeah, it's me. Well, come on up and have a bit. Why, well, you didn't see him walking there from across the street? Need a glass? I mean, I do like this guy's yeah. attitude. He's very yeah. friendly and welcoming. Because, so, you know, some neighbors, when you move in, they don't want to talk to the new people. Path your wife commented on. Well, where does it lead? Pet sanitary. <laughs> Dogs and cats, mostly. My little girl's got a cat, Winston Churchill. Call him church for short. Patriotic family. Here's your bones. And your bones. Uh-oh. Oh, what a really cute kid. Hi, Missy. I'll do these up, bring them back next time, Mrs. Creed. Great. Always thought it would be lucky to marry a doctor. Wish I had a doctor around with my stomach pain so bad. Never be lucky. Hell, I ain't married anyone. These people have that distinctive kind of accent, you know, that raspy kind of voice going on. Mommy, Daddy, come on, let's go. We're coming. What's it say, 
Mommy? It says Pet Cemetery, honey. I told you it's a bad road, Lois. It's killed a lot of pets and made a lot of kids unhappy. A graveyard for pets killed in the road. Built by broken-hearted children. This one's a goldfishy. That's right, Ellie. They wasn't all killed by the road. This is a very strange family activity. That's where I buried my dog Spot when he died of old age in 1924. 1924? My God, how old is he? This guy's a walking mummy. It's a place where the dead speak. <gasps> okay, so now he's coming across a little bit weird. What if Church dies? What if he dies and has to go to the pet cemetery? Church might still be alive when you're in high school, and that's a very long time. He's not God's cat, he's my cat. Oh. I don't want church to get his nuts cut, Daddy. <laughs> oh, God, where did you hear it? She says it's an operation. Church will be just the same. Well, almost the same. Church will be all right, honey. You promise, Daddy? What if somebody just comes and chops your nuts off? The weird and bizarre stuff that we do to our animals, our pets. If their hormones is too much, then that mean that they're not supposed to be in captivity. Just give the little girl a promise. But if anything does happen while he's under the gas, now it's a one. Thank you, Missy, for <laughs> introducing that colorful phrase into my daughter's vocabulary. Don't mention it. How's that bellyache of yours? No better, no worse. No oh, better, no worse. You know I can take a look at that for you. It'll pass. She doesn't have the medical insurance to pay. Still friends, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> ah, at least they made up. You don't want to go to your first day on the job in a bad mood. My God, what happened to this man? Brains is supposed to be in the inside, but they're on the outside. Oh, it's no surviving that. I told Rachel not so much as a sprain today, my friend. No gloves. Oh, God. oh my God! Oh, damn, and he spit in his face. He deserved one of the This Tony. <coughs> How did you know my name? I'll come to you. No, don't come to him. What? No, Ghost Man, nobody even gave you permission to come there. Come on. Oh! oh, God, just listen to this freaking. How does he have the brains leaking out of his skull even as a ghost? Why are you here? Shh, you don't want your wife to hear you. She's going to think you're a loony. Oh! <laughs> Right. How you expect them to trust you and you keep jump scaring them? It's like he's proud. He's showing off his injuries. It's freaking disgusting. I mean, what, he wants him to make a comment about the damn injury? This is the place where the dead speak. Do not go on to the place where the dead. <sighs> oh, he's a good ghost. He's trying to warn them. The bear. Okay, so this is where the movie does the was it a dream or was it real thing? Yeah. Yep, that was real. I don't like to think of you rattling around the house on Thanksgiving Day. That's supposed to be a family holiday, Luke. As far as your dad is concerned, I'm never going to be a member of the family. Oh, that ruins everything. Well, there's a dead cat over here on the edge of my lawn. Yep, that's church all right. At least it don't look like he suffered. Cat got fused to the ground? You gonna tell Ellie? There's a better way. The place we're going on the other side of that. 
No, 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 no. Pascal, Pascal oh, said do not go. Two. Those grounds are sour. Okay, so I don't like this guy anymore. Don't look down. Just don't stop and... Oh, and he's leading people on treacherous paths? Lewis, you all right? Yeah, not much farther now. The twist of the movie, this old guy, he's gonna be a bad guy? I don't trust him. Just a loon, that's all. I never heard that kind of animal sound. Almost Unless there, Lewis. You keep saying that. Right. They don't even have any rock climbing gear. See me, maybe I have too much of a morbid imagination, but I will be thinking, I do not know this new neighbor. He might be trying to take me somewhere to bury my ass. This was their burial ground. They got echoes in his voice and shit. I brought you here to bury Ellen's cat. A lot of movies that I watch from that era tend to have some type of Indian burial ground thing going on. I said, why, Judd? I had my reasons. Okay, I would have left his mysterious ass right there. <laughs> oh, he needs to lay off the smokes. He's in the fourth quarter of his life. So they got miss following them? Not one word about what we done tonight. Secret thing. <laughs> She's never seen into a man's heart. What is the what? Of a man's heart. Yeah, go home. He's really creepy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. How's church, Daddy? He's just fine, Ellie. I haven't seen him this evening, but... Uh... Well, make sure you put him down soft before you go to bed. Want to talk to Gage? Hi, Daddy, I love you. <gasps> that was really cute. Hi, Daddy, I love you. He didn't do anything to that yard. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, God! Got a zombie cat? Maybe that was just one of his nine lives. He's acting so nonchalant dealing with a cat from the dead. Oh. Jesus, boy. Christ. Ah! Oh! That's an evil cat now? Evil hell cat? Well, I feel like I'm going crazy. Understandable. It was the rag man who told me about the place. You know, I kind of feel like this guy should have explained everything to him first. Ragman did for me what I did for you last night. My mother was with me. Uh, you still see the barbed wire marks on him. John, come and get your dog! He stinks to the ground you buried him in! John! It was not quite the same dog that I knew. Kill that! Has anyone ever buried a person up there? Christ on his throat, no. Whoever would. Well, obviously, somebody did. Ha, 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 ha. This story is very interesting now. Oh, boy. What kind of jump scares are we in for? Something's obviously going to... Oh. Oh. I guess that's a way of the cat being friendly. Maybe that's some type of peace offering. How the hell did you get in here? The eyes. Oh, no. Out! Daddy! They on a private jet on a doctor's salary? Okay. Hi, Daddy. I dreamed he got hit by a car and you and Mr. Crandall buried him in the pet cemetery. <laughs> what? Was... Is he really all right? Yes. Oh, nah. If she had all of that information, I would have just told her the truth. Phew, you smell bad. It is definitely more harmful to let your daughter have a zombie cat than to actually tell her the truth. These, I don't know about these parents here, man. There's a lot of red flags with their parenting. Church smells bad. I hate that smell. Yes. Oh, 
no. Somebody saved this woman. Well, well god damn, that sure brought the mood down in the movie. I don't know why they put that in there. Is this my first Stephen King cameo? And give maybe, you maybe not. Amen. That is a sign of him being cool with this movie being made because The Shining, he didn't want anything to do with that movie. I don't know why God takes someone like her. She should still have a bunch of years left in front of her and lets an old fart like me just go on and on. Jelly's cat. No. It's your cat now. What do you mean by that? He didn't even explain all of the paranormal rules. Daddy, do you think Mr. Dantridge went to heaven? Boy, this little bear is too intrigued with death. The most unsettling eyes. What is this lady problem? Was I know you don't approve of the subject. I just get scared. Scared of what? Dying? My sister Zelda. I know she died. Spinal meningitis. My sister died in the, in the back bedroom, and, and that's what she was. Sometimes I hated it, but I did it. Is she a mutant? We wished, <coughs> we wished for her to be dead. And they was wishing death on that lady? It wasn't just so, so we wouldn't feel any more pain. It was because she started to look like this monster. I see this, this family has a lot of trauma going on with them. When she died, Oh! <laughs> she started to convulse, oh, and I it's thought, horrible. I thought, oh my God! She's Why are they making me look at this? They'll hurt her by choking. They'll say you hated her, Rachel, and that was true. Okay, I would have helped if she reached out with her creepy fingers. I would have had no choice but to help her. Now, the sister did have a face that would make you nauseous, but yet. That still is your sister. So she's the villain of this movie. You should have never been left alone with her, Rachel. Never. Where was her nurse? That is a good point. In charge of her dying sister, who was probably clinically insane by then. Where are you going? I'm going to get you a Valium. Rachel, you know I don't take. Tonight you do. Okay, forcing her to take medicine? Go tech to go go. Okay. Oh, I should have to Here you go, buddy. Sheena is It's so predictable. Something obviously is about to happen. You got it, Gages. We got it. We got it. I'm so nervous right now. Like, if you let his unsupervised ass get killed, I'm gonna hate all of you guys in this movie. Uh oh. Oh, I got this. Oh my god, he's. <laughs> yeah. A minute. Get that baby! His little cute shoe. No! Fuck you. No! Fuck you. Fuck y'all. You guys are horrible parents. Y'all don't deserve to have kids. You guys are trash. You guys are slime, scum, filth. You too old man with your dirty ass jumper. I don't like any of you people. I don't like none of them. I hope the zombie cat kills them all. What you got there, let me see. Can I see? Oh. Ain't that real nice. Picture, I'm gonna sit in this chair. Kelly. Shut up. Oh, God. My guys, I, what what's going to happen to turn this movie around, huh? I'm so frustrated watching this. I spent a lot of time, nearly seven years, working a job where I had to work with kids. And these guys are horrible parents. They needed to build a fence. They taking private jets and shit to Chicago. Obviously, they needed to build a fence around the house. I knew something like this would happen. Yeah, me too. I hope you rot in hell! Where were you when he was playing in the road? Well, usually I'm very sensitive to people's feelings. And I understand that this is a funeral, so you need more compassion than hate. But this fool deserves it. You killer of Joe! Ah! Yes! Daddy! Yeah! Oh, well, now you guys are 
carried away. Oh, well, I'm sorry, my guys. I don't deal with death well. Good night, Daddy. Claude could take it back if he wanted to, couldn't he? If he really... That is a question that all of us must have had at one point. No! He even got demon cats about to kill his wife. Yeah. Even the cat don't like your lack of supervision. You are thinking of putting him up there. Don't deny the thought hadn't crossed your mind, Lois. You asked me if anyone had ever buried a person up there on the McMack ground. Why would you tell him this now? I kind of, I feel like he should keep this to himself. He was killed on his way home in the Second World War. He buried his son up there before he ever had a chance. Get the bottom of the truth. The person you put up there ain't the person that comes back. But it ain't that person. Because. Where'd he get that leg from? At all. <laughs> that thing needs to be euthanized. Lewis, sometimes dad is better. Sometimes that is better. I'm trying to figure out how him and his accomplices aren't behind bars. They just clearly murdered a family. One of them was dead, but one of them wasn't. These guys all are criminals. You choose the power. I may have murdered your son, Lewis. I don't feel any sympathy. He's the one that told them about the cemetery. I don't want to go to Chicago, Grandma Dory. I had a bad dream last night. About what? about daddy this little girl has some type of abilities she's been spot on with her premonitions and someone named pax cat <gasps> that little girl's an x-man please daddy i'm scared everything's gonna be all right that little girl's doing an outstanding job acting time for the stupid dumb decision to be made remember doc the barrier. If it doesn't work, it comes back. And he's like Judd said Timmy Benjamin was. I'll just put him back to sleep. This man done lost his mind. Rachel and Ellie don't, don't ever have to know. How do you plan on pulling that off? Honey, you just had a bad dream, that's all. You know that, don't you? God. Who is this Pax cow? Is he, is he like the boogeyman? He's a ghost. He's a good ghost. I can't remember. What a great actor. No I can't find much on this little girl actor. I guess she had a little bit of a career after this. I just would have thought she went on to do great things in the movie world. Was she saying Pascal? He was trying to help me because daddy was helping him. He's a cool ghost and he likes to travel. I don't know how he brought his ass all the way to Chicago. I'm gonna bust you out, son. Now look, see the thing what he's doing here. Of course, I realize that he's a very irresponsible parent, but I can never judge anybody on how they deal with death. Who knows what I would do if I even thought there was an opportunity of bringing my little boy back. You see how cute that little baby boy was? I might have would have went for it. Heart. So you can't you can't fight your heart, man. It's you can't. He's not home. Probably went out for a hamburger or a chicken dinner, dear. You know how men are when they're alone. <laughs> oh no, you better watch out. You might get him a chicken dinner. So Judd, it's Rachel Creed. I'm calling from Chicago. Chicago? Well, if he drops by, I'll, I'll tell him to call you. Don't bother, Judd. I'm coming home. Rachel, no. Why does he not want Rachel. his wife to come home? <sighs> okay, so I'm going to throw him an olive branch. I'll give him some type of credit. He was there the whole day since daytime. He must have been contemplating on this the whole day, and his heart couldn't withstand any more of the pain. I guess I get it. They saw it. They just don't care. I don't blame them. That's extra paperwork. So disturbing. It's going to be all right. Damn, did Pascal mess up all of the photographs? All of them have mental illness. <laughs> no, 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 no. And this time, and I will 
get you. <laughs> <laughs> Did, did he pay for his ticket? Don't do that, babe. Make it wait. I can't. All right, I'll call the pilot. Privileged? I know from working at JFK Airport, I done seen so many people cry in those situations. I even seen people being turned around when there was still five minutes left before the plane departed. That happens so many times and people just start bawling out crying. I do feel bad for the people. Gonna stop Gage. Knock him down. Dude talking to himself now. Where's Pascal ass at? This man is now following the omens? Sorry, it's been very busy. I really don't have anything. What about the Ares K? Is... I do have an Ares K. But it came in rather beat up. He has hypnotized abilities? What, what was that? events maybe they all should be in chicago right now at the grandparents house do you hear me it's trying to stop you come back to me gage he growling and shit he's gonna be evil isn't he just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I'll be in, babe. Oh, thank you. I don't know if I would trust him. Oh no. Gabe, you're not adorable anymore. And you got a Hellcat with you? Well, this is different. Having a little zombie kid come back. I don't know if I've seen that before in a movie. He's come back to kill. Why'd the baby boy go to his house? <gasps> that just nearly took my soul. Call his father or just leave. Oh, he's still so cute. Oh. You the one playing games? You know, I don't I'm just not going to feel bad for any of these people. He knows what the dad did. Yeah, kill him, Gabe. I'm so disappointed in the decisions made in this movie. Come on out. I brought you something. Who do I's nail clipper? Oh, you know, he used that to open up his beer. Yeah, just scream, Lewis. <laughs> These characters are making me infuriated. Oh, oh, damn, that was really deep. The cat working together with him. You bad now, Gabe? No! What? A vampire? What a great job. I have never seen the one-year-old just kill someone. What's more of a head-scratcher for me is how did he get that little boy to act like that? You know, he followed instructions very well. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it. Hell, I didn't get out on our any further. I'm sure things will be fine. I'm not. What? Oh, why? He's been seeming to be able to go anywhere he wanted before. So now is he gonna haunt that truck driver? Rachel! 
show. Oh, what? <laughs> Bitch, don't be stupid. She said her and Gabe are gonna get you. Why can't she just go to her husband and then they both walk over here? Judd? My guys, at this moment in point right now, I'm so angry with these characters. I'm not rooting for any of these characters. None of them. I'm on the evil entity side. I want them to get her. Yeah. So you'll never get out of bed again. <laughs> Never get out of bed again. Oh, Never get out of bed again. <laughs> With his little cute cane. I bought you something, mommy. Oh I shit. Bought you something, mommy. <laughs> I bought you something, mommy. <laughs> I hope that snapped some sense back into him. Oh my god. <laughs> I uh, just wanted to be sure Rachel got back all right. Did she get back all right? Yes, she's fine. Oh, well, uh, put her on at that end and I'll Why? I can talk to you right now. Suspicious eyes actions. Oh, and I told you I can't talk to you right now. Hey. His little ass would have killed me. What did you do? <laughs> no, what did you do? Oh, I gave him a whole ass steak. It's Thanksgiving Day for cats. He's such the bad guy of this movie. Being all harmful to animals in this movie and sticking them in the ass. Go on. Lie down. What did they do to that animal? The 80s was the wild, Be wild dead. west. I don't know, did they really kill that cat? I don't know why, but I feel like they really killed that cat in real life. The hell happened to his Agent. house? Looked like Shrek came over and took a shit on everything. Scared you, didn't I? Gage? I wonder why the sisters, ghost sister, and Gabe, the little ghost baby, I wonder why they decided to come to Ned's house. The fuck that little boy been doing? You mean to tell me that little boy moved those bodies also? Chucky doll. They were bad parents. Fuck it. He still looks cute. Oh, what a great little actor. I bumped his little noggin. How did he get these kids to act so brilliant? Phenomenal job. That's all the evil being released. I'm sorry, Lewis. I'm so sorry. Man, I thought you was gone. Make it worse. Just give up, Pascal. Take your ass to the afterlife. Ooh. Didn't even choose to wash up. Just gonna be in blood the whole time, huh? 
doesn't even want to live for his little daughter. Oh, hey, Rachel. There she is. Oh, right on time. But we know how this is going to end. Oh, the eye. He didn't have to use his tongue. What a great job the makeup team did, though. Yeah, you deserve that. That was a clear case of overwhelming guilt. Essentially, he killed himself. He knew what the turnout would be once he put his wife back into that grave. He couldn't deal with it. Once his son was gone, he just couldn't deal with the grief. I didn't like any of these characters. Like, I don't, I didn't like any of them. I mean, the, the kids, the kids was outstanding. And wow, man, did they do a great job acting. Man, those kids should have been heavily rewarded. I commend them kids. And, and when it comes to acting in this movie, I guess everyone else, they did a decent job. It's just that the characters, I just can't let the horrible decisions in this movie cloud my judgment. You know, they I, they, I guess they, the rest of them did a good acting job also. This movie did have a unique story to it, so that's a plus. And did they have some really good parts going on to it? I can't call this a bad movie. It's just that, man, I'm so disappointed in these grown-ups that was in this movie. I mean, when that man Lou is gonna make a bad decision, there's nothing that can stop him. This man hurtled over so many obstacles just to make a bad choice. And he just was gonna do it no matter what. So there is a possibility that I missed the point of being love and how it could interact with your decision making. All of them had really close encounters with death and they needed help. So for me, I would give Pet Cemetery 1989 a thumbs up. Those child actors had an amazing performance in this movie. I'm gonna go now. I need to distract myself from too much death that was going on with this movie. <laughs> I need to go do something more pleasant now. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I'm Easy11. Thank you for checking out my channel, Randomly Reacting Review First. And to the next time, stay safe and stay smart.